Hey guys, what's going on? Makifo here. I'm just uh, going to start off my first video, kind of walking through how to overclock a Ice River KS0 Ultra. So right now I don't even have any um, cooling on the um, power phases right now. They're uh, all stock, no paste replacement. Um, all I have right now is this the, the side panels off and a fan over it. So as you can see here, we're at 399 stock, 406, it about hovers around there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I have a PP Farmer firmware installed on this. You can um, go to his GitHub and, and download that. I can link it in the description if you guys want. Um, so right here I got this clock offset. Right now we have a zero. I kind of recommend you, you test it out and um, see where your threshold's at. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm still on the stock power supply, so that might be a big, big um, turn on for a lot of guys, um, a lot of you here. Just using that stock power supply, not having to upgrade that. Um, I'm not going to push it too far, so it should be okay. It's been okay for about a couple weeks now. Um, the maximum I've done it is 20 millivolts, and it's been fine, no crashes. But what I recommend is, um, so you just want to start out with your clock, and maybe just go up from there. Um, the highest I can go with stock is 95, but I just I just test it out. You know, you can go 10, you can go 20. So right now, let's do 50, and then the highest I can go in here is um, 20, but I'll just keep that uh, zero for now, and we'll test it. All right, I'll hit save, and then we'll come back and. I'll uh, come back once it updates in about five minutes. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes and uh, the hash rates got updated. Uh, we're at 421 right now. I went ahead um, while it was paused. I, I added a little bit more ha uh, megahertz and millivolts to my um, KS0 Ultra. Again, this is um, no power supply upgrade, so it's still the stock power supply. I think it's 120 watts. Um, I didn't want to add too much to it, but if you you can squeeze a little bit out of it without hurting it. Um, right now it's at 95 and 20, and you can see it's slowly starting to climb. I've managed to get it around 480 um, giga hash, and the temperatures kind of you know stay good. The chip temperature, the board temperature gets around uh, maybe 65ish, but it stays right around there, which is you know, pretty good for stock and not upgrading any of the cooling. Um, let's see where we're at. If we go to this pool that I had it on, you can see the average 24 hours about 480. It's went down a little bit because I've been messing with this, but um, we're we're doing pretty good. I got a solo block about a week ago, and I went back to pool mining. But since the blocks are kind of big, um, I'm hopefully hit be able to hit one solo. I got a also placed order for a couple of gold shells, the uh, K box pros, and then I managed to get a KS2 light. So I'll definitely man get a video going once I get that in and get an unboxing video. Maybe open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully getting it early from Ice River, um, working with them, so shout out to them. Maybe they can make something happen. But uh, stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching.